everybody. Today I want to talk to you about a, a problem that I was having with my Mac Mini's Magic Keyboard. Uh, the Mac Mini is a Intel-based Mac Mini. It's a 2010 because it has the uh, DVD drive that I utilize sometimes. And I was using it as a Plex server and I wanted to create the hyper key in the Mac Mini, but it, uh, when I was using Carabiner Elements, it didn't work. I would try to create the, um, in Carabiner they're called, um, uh, complications but they it wouldn't accept the modification here is the uh, carabiner interface and you see here that this particular keyboard already has the uh, modifications intact. And see, the only one I have is the hyper key. And in the Mac Mini, it, uh, it was not accepting it. So, and I was also trying to access this folder here, again, on the Mac Mini, the config carabiner folder. So when I would try to access the config folder, it would appear like this. It would be grayed out, and with that little um, red minus sign indicating that here you have no permissions for this folder. So, um, so what I had to do was I had to get a lot of help from the online community, obviously. And I was um, forced to go into terminal and so here's terminal and type this command that you'll see slide by on the screen right now. Obviously, I'm not going to do it on this computer, but um, that's the the command I had to use to make that folder accessible to me once again. And then, once it was accessible, I simply um, went in to this folder, like so. And we're gonna go to open config, not sudo. And then in the other uh, machine, it did not have the carabiner folder. So I simply created a new folder and called it carabiner. And that enabled me to save uh, a complication that was the compli uh, or modification, this one here, and make the hyper key uh, work in place of a regular 
caps lock key. So as you all know, the hyper key is command, control, option, and shift all pressed at the same time. But except uh, rather than you having to do um, finger gymnastics, you can just click the caps lock key and I'll do the same thing. All right, guys. Well, for those of you that use Carabiner Elements, I hope this tutorial helped you. And um, if it did, comment down below. And please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with others who might find it helpful. All right, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.